Hello, welcome back to my channel. Always pleased to see you. And you're here. Um, as is traditional, uh, if you look underneath the video, you'll see the timestamps for the various parts of the video. So you can go off and uh, have a look at those rather than listening to me. Uh, before you go, if you don't mind subscribing, uh, please. I looked at my stats over the last couple of months, really, and about 80% of the people that watch my videos haven't subscribed. I'd really like one or two of you to join me because there's loads more to come. I think I've done about 86 so far. Hundreds more to come. I'm going to be doing this for a long time. Whether I get rich and famous or I'm still talking to 130 people, I'm going to be around for a while. Anyway, if you don't mind doing the subscribing bit. Um, Whiffle today, blither today, as is traditional, I have a little bit of a blither. I haven't got anything today. Um, I racked my brains for something interesting and witty and original. And today I came up with... Um, I went to see a gig on, on Monday, a, a band called Scooter. Fantastic band. See, I have got some blither after all. A techno band from Germany. Very, very cheesy, but absolutely amazing. The, the, the walls were soaked with sweat on the way out it was a really banging gig which for someone in the late 50s going eh, 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 is is quite a thing not not particularly pretty to watch but i was in eh, 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 enjoying myself all right there you are there's the blither end of blither tuna mornay recipe today where did i get tuna mornay from I'm, I'm guessing his, his sort of origins were Cod Mornay, which is a more well-known dish. It's an Aussie dish, this one, tuna mornay. Only as I was looking through the, the, the ingredients, I'm thinking, you know what, I'm going to less pasta in this, because there's usually quite a lot of pasta as the base, and I'm going to put more veggies in. So it's kind of a tuna casserole, tuna mornay thing with more veggies in. So I'm calling it tuna mornay upgrade. Let's get on with it. We need... And so, what is on today's Board of Goodness? Now, this is an interesting one, because as of this exact moment, I'm making this up as I go along. I've looked at a few recipes of tuna casseroles, and essentially, a bunch of pasta, a bunch of tuna, white sauce, cheese. That's roughly what it is. Now, I want to make this slightly healthier, so I'm going to minimise on the pasta, and I'm going to add some veggies. So, like I said, I'm making this up as I go along. So, start with a white sauce. Milk, butter, flour. Probably about two or three tablespoons of flour. A couple of three tablespoons of butter and about a litre of milk. That's going to be the white sauce. What I'll add to that is a couple of tubs, of, well, probably one tub of ricotta and one tub of mascarpone. So... They're about 250 grams each, so probably that. Maybe a touch more if, if I need any. I'll taste it as it goes. Then into that, we're going to put in three tins of tuna. This particular tuna is in sunflower oil. The reason for that will become obvious as we start um, cooking. What I'm going to add to pimp that up, add to that sauce, is I'm probably going to chop up two or three anchovies to make it really sort of, woo. it's going to... It's going to add a bit of woo. Uh, pasta, I've got some fasili in the cupboard. Penne is probably more traditional. And I'm going to probably use about probably just less than that. What's the packet? Um, let's say a couple of good handfuls of pasta rather than a lot of pasta. And uh, into that, I'm going to put in a couple of courgettes and I shall chop up four or five. Probably six sprigs of stems of broccoli. So that's do, 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 sauce, pasta, veggies, and then right near the end, I'll add um, some breadcrumbs and some parmesan. I'll, I'll shave the parmesan, mix it in with the breadcrumbs, and then cover um, in the pot for its last bit. So it's, it's going to go in the oven. This will be the last bit in the oven. How much breadcrumbs? Again, depends on the size of your pot. So probably I my hand, good handful of that, and probably a good two thirds of the size of that. What's that? Two hundred grams? Yeah, probably about 100, 150 grams of parmesan. This is going to feed four, five, six, depending on 
what size portions you want. Um, salt and pepper to taste. Keep tasting it. Add salt and pepper if you want to. La 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 la. Bo -bom. Off we go. So first thing is over here in the corner is the pasta bubbling away. Look at the packet instructions. Half the amount of time you're going to cook and boil it for the, about half the amount of time because it's going to finish off in the in the dish. So and in this one in a small prime pan put the tiniest tiniest little bit of oil in and uh, your courgettes and broccoli. All we're doing is softening these in a tiny tiny little bit of salt just to help them cook through. So three, four, five minutes max. Yeah, probably about four minutes. A little bit of oil, a little bit of salt. Ta da! Dum de dum de dum de dum. They are about ready. I'm going to throw in my anchovies. I think I put five little anchovies. Nicely chopped up. Da, da, da. Heat off. Smaller casserole dish. Ready. And our cooked and drained pasta. Always feels better when you put something green in your dish. I don't know about you, but uh, I uh, like green things. So half of the pasta that I would have put in is now in the shape of vegetables. Right, uh, let's make the uh, white sauce. A bomb. So who here needs to see me making a white sauce? The answer is probably nobody. I'm not particularly elegant with making bechamel sauces, as you'll see presently. Let's turn the heat down a little bit. Ooh, flour all over the place. Do do do. This is why I don't film it. And then start adding the milk. Change hands, eh? I'm not very good with doing it the other way. I can always get the whisk out in a minute if I need it. Right. Keep stirring that to make sure nothing is uh, sticking to the bottom. And that little bit of sunflower oil with the tuna I mentioned earlier, just get yourself a couple of good tablespoons worth of that in there. It will help the flavour. You know what I'm also going to do is I'm going to pour a tiny bit of the anchovy oil in there as well. I don't really want to be adding too many things to this sauce. You know, like you can add mustard and Lots more black pepper. I'd rather it be ruled by a little bit of a fishy sort of taste instead. We'll see. I mean, if I have to put in other things, I'll put in other things and then I'll add it to essentially the, the, card, the recipe card that sits underneath the video where I do actually try and explain quantities. I'll give that a second and it'll thicken up. So I think it's pretty much ready now. I don't want this to be too thick because it's going in the oven if you, and if you put a sauce in the oven it does thicken quite a bit so I think that's about it. It's a nice viscosity for want of a better term. So let's get our two tubs. One of our, 
mascarpone, one of ricotta in there. And you know I have found in the cupboard, and a little dribble of mature cheddar lick. So I'm going to pop that in. Just a few grams. I think there's about 50 grams in there. Right, heat right down. Let's stir this to break up those cheeses. Da, da, da. Yeah, I think they're all nicely broken up into the sauce. Let's have a wee taste. I think that sharp cheddar has certainly uh, added something to it. I'm going to have a little bit. I'll be. Teaspoon of salt. Mmm. That is about right. If you want more fishiness, add in, probably chop in a few more anchovies or a little bit more of the, the, um, the oil from the tuna. But that is very much ready. Right. God, what a mess. Yes, this is why I um, don't cook sauces live. Right, back to our casserole dish. Let's stir in the tuna, but not too much. You don't want it all to flake away and lose it's lump of tuna taste. <sighs> right, that is going to go in the oven for about 35 minutes at 180. Then we're going to fish it out and uh, we're going to put the parmesan and the breadcrumbs on for like the last 10 minutes. Let's go! Right, taking it out after 20 minutes, 20 of the 35 minutes. Probably isn't going to need 35 minutes. Let's have a wee taste, let's see what's going on. Mmm, very nice. Right, I've mixed in my um, breadcrumbs with my parmesan. liberally cover ta 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 and uh, back in the oven for the final let's say 10 minutes and uh, we'll see how we get on right 10 minutes done looks really really good a nice crust and the crackling sound I'm hearing from the melted cheese and uh, yeah Mmm, mmm, the top at least tastes gorgeous. Right, I'm not going to plate it up, da da da, here. I'll finish this video now and I'll show you the picture of it plated up, because I'm sure it's not. It's going to be messy if I do this now and it's going to be, so I'll do that, tidy up the plate and then show you a photograph. Next time, bye bye.